Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss how to analyze SF36 questionnaire using SPSS. So you can easily download this questionnaire from the internet and you can also easily download this document, the scoring document. I will scroll it up and this is called RAND36 item survey scoring and I will also upload the SPSS file in which all the variables are already made so you don't need to make the variables in the SPSS. So here you can see I have uh, created all the questions and very they are considered as variables in SPSS and the values are entered as per this document. Now beyond this, this is really very easy that once you enter these variables into the SPSS, what we can do? We can do a mean scoring of these questions. For example, for physical functioning, we need to compute a new variable in SPSS and we need to compute the mean score of all these items. So I will do it uh, in front of you and you can do it very easily on your own. For example, if you want to calculate the mean score of physical functioning, we'll go to uh, SPSS, we'll go over transform and compute variable and then what we can do is we can click on to the questions that we want to add. For example, first we'll click the all function, then we'll click onto the mean and we'll click mean. And from this, we need to enter from three to 12. So I'll come back over here. So question number three, one by one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and 12. So now we need to add a comma between these values because if there is no comma it will give us an error. And let's say target variable is physical functioning PF. We can also use this use existing label and continue and this should be small letters PF and click OK and it has computed a new variable. This is for physical functioning and if you look for the label it has told us that it is the mean score of question number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. When we go to the data view, you will see that this is the mean score and if I decode it, these are the numbers that we get from this file. So I will simply share this document with you, this file with you and you can easily open it in SPSS and you can compute these variables. Uh, for role limitations, you can use question number 13, 14, 15, 16, so on and so forth. So for all the categories, these are eight categories. So for these categories, you can easily compute the new variables. You can go to the mean score and then you can uh, analyze it further if you want. You can either report the mean score or you can uh, report it uh, directly as per your requirements or as per your understanding. So there are different ways how to report it or how to uh, further documented in your thesis or in your research article. I hope you liked this video. Thank you very much.